tell that I feel cute. In a non-sexual way. <laughs> Now, I've never been with the baddie. Aren't there cool people who wear the hats like this? I really love them. As a really good book. $20 million. Yeah, I would. Two billion shillings. No, I wouldn't. should wait till I'm in the house so I can talk about the hair but I love it I love it so much this might just be my go-to hair I did not less braids and also someone needs to tell me the difference between box braids and not less braids or I can just also google it and stop being lazy but I I I, I don't know but I did not less braids and I did jumbo braids a new term I learned um, through this whole thing because I just wanted something really really big something that will probably last two weeks or so if at all I'm not sure that these would be no no they'll be good for Christmas they'll be good for Christmas um and I freaking love them I came back to mystique which is now gonna be my go-to braid salon but also I want to say like the first time I came here I came as a paying customer like I, I came because my best friend recommend was like oh no you should try this salon and I came was ready to pay and they were like no it's on us this time around I just did the same thing I booked an appointment I, you know, asked how early I can come, described what I wanted, came as I'm going to pay. They're like, no, 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 it's on us. What? That is just so generous. Thank you, guys. So I, I want to make it clear. I guess it is a PR service, but I was coming in as a paying customer both times and I will come in as a paying customer and I like I like they're they're great they're great they know what they're doing I did ask this time because last time I felt like there was the wax that went on not the wax is it called wax it's wax yeah the wax gel 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 there was the gel that went on and then there was the mousse and then there was the sheen spray and so this time around I was like I think I'm okay with just the gel and I feel a little bit better uh, about that and also because I think the mousse is supposed to help the hair kind of stay put so you don't have too many flyaways don't quote me on that I think that's what it's there for and I just I just it's not gonna stay that long it's probably gonna be on my head another 10 days maybe two weeks max I'm not gonna stay long with this hair and then when I do undo it I'll go to Patrick to get a uh, protein treatment um, but I love the hair so much I forgot I forgot I forgot that I feel cute in braids excuse me and these are the biggest I've done in a very long time and the fact that uh, do you know I remember the days of going to Kenyatta market and having to leave there with a painkiller because I like you had to go there with painkillers because you knew before you left you'd have to take them not my portion my hair my scalp does not like it I'm not here to die trying to look cute in braids and the fact that I can do all of this I just feel like we've come such a long way when it comes to braiding and the braiding experience and I'm just so grateful I'm so happy with my hair I'll show you properly when we get home she even like did my little edges ah oh, Leah Leah did in case you want to know who did my hair the actual technician hair hair uh, what would you call that a braid technician not a technician I'm not sure but yeah, Leah is the girl who did my hair. And I'm now rushing home so that Sophie can do my nails. Ah, oh, God. I This is clearly a pamper day. We're pampering full on. Oh, and also started my book. 
um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I left my other book, Shantaram, at my parents' house, but I think my dad dropped it off this morning, but I was already at the salon. So I started the other book, love it. I feel like it's one of those that I'm gonna be like, um, I know I can, I should be working, I know I should be working, but I really wanna just read the next chapter. It's one of those for me, and it's exactly what I wanted for December, just something that hopefully will be like, a quick read um, and then I also finished editing a video Woohoo! so I think I might be able to do a second video today I just feel I just feel like we're off to a great start that's all I'm gonna say mm hmm I might even just I feel ballsy enough to make a bold phone call uh, okay anyway I'm gonna rush home can you tell that I feel can you tell that I feel cute <laughs> I'm gonna go home I'm gonna go home I swear I had my phone just now. And what is that? Water. Ugh. Found it. Found my phone. Um, I've had a bit of a busy morning. I ended up going to Yaya Center because I was like, oh, let me just get this one thing for someone that I realized I didn't, I, like I needed to give this item to. And I then got derailed. <laughs> I ended up getting other things for other people. I did get the thing for him too, but I got other things for other people. And then I ended up like wandering around Mr. Price's home for a, a few minutes and then was in Woolworths for a few minutes. And now it's like 1 p.m. Just a sec. Sorry, there's just so much happening at the same time. Um, but like today, today I kind of feel like I'm on top of things. The last few days, I haven't been on top of things. Things have been on top of me in a non-sexual way. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just feel like I, I have my things together. I'm not like in a manic panic state which is what I feel like I was in a little bit yesterday. Like I was, I was just like, oh, out of it. In fact, speaking of the state I was in yesterday, I just wanna spritz my little wreath with flowers. I was thinking I was going to like, um, let me take this out. I thought I was going to, no, I wanna, what, what did I say? I wanna spritz my wreath with water. But I thought I would hang it by my door, but I just don't have anything to, like any hook or anything to hang it with. So I'm not gonna stress about that. For now, it lives as a centerpiece here. I hope that's how I should do it. I ended up DMing the lady who um, created this wreath. And in fact, she's got lots of beautiful wreaths on her page. I would check it out if you, hadn't yesterday if last night if you didn't make it to the end of my video you may not have seen me getting that PR package from the hills which um, ha like make these beautiful candles the one I have there is cranberry and cranberry and what let me see and white jasmine and um, and it was presented so beautifully in the middle of this gorgeous wreath with these I don't know, there's eucalyptus, I think that's pine, there's some kind of berry, there's baby's breath, there's just like a really rustic, earthy feel to the wreath. And the lady who makes them went up DMing, and I think I'm gonna try and be ordering every few months maybe, but they only last three weeks. I just wish there was a way that they could dry well. Anyway, let me now show you my hair. Got a little distracted yet again, door rang and then Mondi sent a message with pictures from the weekend. You'd have seen um, a couple, bit, when, a couple, yesterday's video? God, no, a couple videos ago that Mondi had her traditional wedding and I didn't film the actual ceremony because one, it's none of my business. Two, it's none of your business. Three, it's just n none of anyone's business. <laughs> like if any filming should have been done, it would have been, you know, like someone that Mondi hired for the day, but she did, okay me like just filming that part and and then I just put my camera down because like I can't, I have to I have to I just I couldn't just be pointing my camera um all over the place and there were like things being done you know how it is like the shukas and and all of that so imagine me if I was like under my shuka with like my vlogging camera just talking to you guys like okay so he's trying to pick up Mondi <laughs> fingers crossed he gets her right gets the right person that would <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be so extra. That would be, Jesus, that would be so invasive. Anyway, um, pictures from the day were sent, so I was just going through, through those photos. Um, now, what I wanted to show you was my hair. I think, I know, you know how the last time I said, ooh, I think the other one will be my go-to hairstyle? I think this might be it. I'm not sure a middle part suits me. I don't think it does. But um, definitely if I, even if I take like, if I take a few of that, maybe push it back. Uh, but it's just so neat. It's so, oh, you know what I should do? I should actually ask them how much, how much this is. But that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like from different angles. I might, do I want to curl? Do I want to curl them? Do I want to curl them? I don't know. I probably will at some point. Maybe not now. Uh, maybe not immediately. But I also wanted to see how it looks when it's up. Oh, I love, 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 love. I can't, I can't, I can't say love anymore. <laughs> it's gonna be overkill. I mean, not the best bun, but given that I'm using the viewfinder as the mirror, it's gonna have to do, but that's what it looks like. You know what I also want to do? I wanna put on the hats, that the beanie and the hat, the pastel ones that I got from LC Waikiki. One, because I never actually showed you guys what it prop properly looks on, but um, two, I think they would look decent with these braids. So let me just grab them. You know, I've just thought about something. I feel like my sister would like this hat. And I've just realized it still has the tag on. <laughs> should I or should I not just gift it to her? I have a feeling that she would, she would like it. Um, I don't know if I showed you, but on the hat it says... And I know the lighting wasn't great on that vlog, uh, um, but today is the good day. I'm gonna widen it because now I've got braids. Ooh, maybe I should part the braids this time around, actually. I mean, I'm not sure the hat is the best with the braids now. Just a sec. Yeah, I don't know if it really goes with the braids. Or it does go, I would just need to have like a little bit of makeup on. I think it looks okay. And I think my sister would like this. Do I want to gift this to her or do I want to buy her? Because I kind of even feel with this outfit, it goes. Like I just, you know, I actually think this is a shirt, but I've had it for years and I've always worn it as a dress. And I was wearing these with, uh, I was wearing this with sneakers. And I feel like a short dress, a baseball cap and sneakers, like that's, that's a vibe, right? So I just need to do like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. or now I've never been with the baddie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh Lord, let me just tell you something. I am so happy that I don't have to dance in these TikTok streets because if I was starting out now and in order to grow I had to like no guys <laughs> but do you know the dances I'm talking about if you are a TikTok person or because I'm not I'm not even on TikTok but I know of these dances because every time my sister comes over she's like I have a new dance for us you just need to do this and then be like behind me and i'm just trying to like copy her and my sister will just be like boom boom and she just looks like she's got all the swag and i'm like mm, mm, mm. and i look like i'm a like i'm a dying i don't know elephant like i'm just like heavy and i am all over the place couldn't or the one the other one for like and now i never been with the baddie you know anyway if i can't dance like them i'm gonna dress like them <laughs> Oh God, cringe. No, I don't want to dress like them, guys. I just think a baseball hat is the kind of thing that everyone needs in their wardrobe. And I might, although I do have my sister's gift already. 
I'm just complicating my own life. I really am. I'm complicating my own life. And this is my problem. I feel like once I start, I don't stop. Like today, did I need to buy more gifts for the people who I'm having over for dinner on Friday? No, I don't. I already feel like the things that I bought were enough or the thing that I bought was enough for each person. But I was already like, no, I have to buy this for this person. And then I have to buy this for this person. And I was like, oh God, it's the most. It's, I'm just, I'm doing the most. Anyway, baseball cap, I love. I might buy for a money. With all that being said, I might actually just get my sister um, her own. And then my little beanie. Oh, stop. First of all, the way it dressed it up here. Aren't there cool people who wear their hats like this? <laughs> what did I see? I saw. Oh, crap. 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 I can't, I, I can't remember his name. Duh. He's an artist. I think he's a rapper. And he used to wear his hat like this. Like, like literally, like, you remember when it was cool to wear your hat like this? And then I think the meme was like making fun of them, like wearing your hat like this, wearing your hat like this. Like it was, damn it, I can't remember. And I feel like it, it's someone who I actually know, not one of these little people, little something, or like these cool new ones. I'm talking about like the old school ones that I would actually know their names, but now I can't remember. Anyway, I felt when I did like that, like I could almost be, I could almost be like, cool kid, yo, 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 cool. They definitely don't say yo, that's how you know. That's how you know I'm not a cool kid. They don't say yo. Oh, I love it. Please God, just take me to a cold, a cold city soon because I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready for the winter. I have a friend who's been sending me really cool pictures from where she is right now and the city she's in is so dreamy it's so beautiful it's just like the ultimate white christmas situation with the snow and everything and i'm just saying friend if you're watching this now i'm manifesting that this time next year i'll be somewhere close to you if not right next to you like and you know who you are you know who you are anyway yeah, beanie is cool. I like the beanie. I like the beanie. And these are things that we don't often like think about buying because it, honestly, it never gets that cold in Nairobi. It never gets that cold. Um, maybe in Meru, like where I come from, like up in the mountains, that area, Mount Kenya, that area, I should say, <clears throat> it gets it gets really cold. I think I want to get something to eat. I also want to put my hair up. Oh God, I'm so obsessed. Mystique. There, that's it. Let's eat. And then hopefully soon I can get my nails done because Sophie's coming over to do a little touch up. I'm not sure what color we'll do, but we'll figure it out. We're back in my bedroom. It is 6.45 now. Sophie came and did my nails. I was uh, frantically trying to like have my nails done and like just make sure that the video that needed to go up had all the items that needed to go into the description box. And I was just like, Sophie, sorry, I'm so sorry, Sophie, sorry. Uh, anyway, nails are done. I've done something different today, and it's this like ombre, white ombre fade. I never play around when it comes to my nail polish. Like I'm a very simple nude or like really light pink or maybe baby blue type girl here. <laughs> I just, I keep it simple because my nails are short anyway and I just want them to look clean and classic. So when she suggested this, I was like, mm, Sophie. And then she was like, oh, you know what? It's the holidays. Maybe try something different. And I quite like it. And especially since, oh, I mean, especially since um, uh, they work really well with short nails. Because you know how with a French tip, like a classic French tip, the longer your nails are, the like, prettier it looks. This isn't the case because my nails are really short, but... They seem to work pretty well. I really, I really love them. And then on my toesies, I've got red because Merry Christmas to you. In fact, as she was leaving, I was like, Merry Christmas, Sophie. I won't see you till it's after Christmas. I have to start thinking along those lines, huh? Like, who am I not seeing till after Christmas? Which also, 
I wanted to share something that came in that I'm going to try my best to use because you know how you know how people and companies send you diaries and you're like, mm -hmm. who could that be? Okay, I'll show you guys who came. I forgot that they were coming, but I'll show you. They'll pop in just to say a quick hello. I was just saying how you know how companies send you like diaries and like little books to kind of usher in a new year and you're like, mm -hmm. got it, gonna use it, don't worry. Well, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna try. I'm gonna try use this. But this is from uh, Moran Capital. I would highly recommend. Like, they are the ones who kind of help me with my finances and just kind of guiding me along this journey. But they also help with things like insurance, home insurance, life insurance, health insurance, car insurance. You name it, insurance. They got you. They'll they'll help you out in that regard. I'm gonna link them down below just in case you're in the market for that. Um, and. Uh, the person who specifically is assigned to me um, called today to say like, oh, I've got something for you. And I just have to say, like, it just looks really good inside as well. Come say hi. Where are you going? Yeah, just come do like a quick hello. Don't hi. trip. No, that's... I know. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Hi, it's Jeff. Oh my God, you're actually sitting down. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Say something funny. Sharon. Ah. <laughs> okay, can I tell you guys? Can I tell you guys? Isn't that a nice? This is so cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Like even if, when you open it, it's nice. Can I tell you guys my favorite video to date? The only video of mine that I can rewatch over and over. And I'm not just saying that. The only video of mine that I can rewatch over and over is the one we did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was funny. That was really funny. <laughs> and my favorite part is when I'm like, um. Um, what did I say? Bad no, words? I asked you something. Like, what's your favorite really superhero? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I feel like I can't even match your energy. I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm tired. okay, okay, it's okay. <sighs> Let me go sub some food. Yeah, you can. You guys can always find Jeff on Fatma's channel because he sometimes appears every now and then. I'm gonna link her channel down below so you can see down what below, he's okay. like down below, somewhere there, somewhere there. Yeah. Will you please? Can I ask you a huge favor? Yeah. And you have to say yes because obviously I've been pressured into yeah, it. Yeah, into it. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna say something so off. <laughs> Soon, <laughs> within like a one month period, uh -huh. can you film a video, a sit down video, maybe a part two of that thing with me? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why that's that's yeah. gonna be epic. That's how I'm gonna yeah. start next year. Yes. I'm so excited. Let's see if we know each other any better next year. Yeah. And you guys show me show me love on that video, please, because Jeff doesn't come doesn't go in front of the camera so often. Although he did say <laughs> he did say that if a company offered him twenty million dollars, I would be a reality TV star for yeah. sure for two years. <laughs> we, the we best had a one whole, you've ever seen. We had a whole conversation. All the scandals, everything. He would make up all the drama. He would be the juiciest fellow on that thing. Yeah. But he said for twenty million dollars he would do it. For twenty Ooh. million dollars, I wouldn't. Twenty million dollars. Yeah, I would. Two billion shillings. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd rather just slowly hustle. And by the way, my hustle is slow. It's slow. 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 It's slow. Six hundred years, you'll be there. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Slow but steady. Habana, haba. Hujaza, kebab. <laughs> but I would. I wouldn't do it. It's just. Can you imagine would, all the for twenty million dollars business. for two years? I would. I mean, what <laughs> wouldn't I do, man? <laughs> Jeff, would be, Jeff would be out there I with the that, scandals. All the scandals, I would not. not. Anyway, I'm going to pose that question to you guys. Because we were actually, um, I don't think I mentioned, did I mention it here? I don't think I did. But uh, a couple days ago, was it even yesterday? Wow, time, time, time. Anyway, yesterday for me, uh, I was with Motua... No, it wasn't yesterday, it was a couple of days ago. Sorry, it doesn't even matter, but I just realized it wasn't yesterday. I was with Motua, Nani, my mom, Jeff, Fatma, um, and we were just talking about reality TV, and I posed the question, for, tw for $20 million, would you appear on a reality TV show for two years? And for two years, cameras are like following you around. <laughs> and everyone was like, yes, <laughs> sign me up. But when I said, uh, how much did I say eventually? I think when I said like four million dollars, some people pulled out. Omoto was like, "I will show you everything. I will, sh 
<laughs> show you everything and Jeff was like four million dollars no I'm out that's not gonna change my life 20 million dollars would I just have to say I really don't think I would I wouldn't I just wouldn't I wouldn't do that because after two years the interest about your life doesn't stop there and if you're being offered 20 million dollars million dollars this is like large scale this isn't like Kenyan version of like some people are interested in you this is like the world is trying to look into what you're doing and what you're about so the world even after the two years are still going to be like mm -hmm. so what happened are you still rich or poor now did you go to jail were you accused of cheating who are you with now well who did we see you with last week no thank you i can't i can't i can't i, I just i don't think i would but 20 million dollars is a lot of money and i guess you could also just be like i'll take the 20 million dollars and then disappear like proper disappear like like people like Denzel Washington who just are able to like go back into their private life and then come out for like a movie premiere or like a big blockbuster Hollywood thing and then they go back like he's found that perfect balance I but reality TV like once you get in you just it just feels like you're sucked into this like wormhole anyway with that being said I just wanted to sit and wrap a few of the things that I picked up. So I'm having a dinner with a few of my friends. A couple of my friends are out of the country. There's two other people I'd have loved to include in this like small intimate dinner, but the two of them are out of the country. And so I'm left with my three lovely ladies, Patricia, Mondi, Fatma. <clears throat> and I picked up a couple of things and I just wanted to do I even want to show you? I just want to show you one of them. One of them. Because actually, really, I also picked it up for myself. I didn't just pick it up for the person. I picked it up for myself, too. Um, and so this is my copy of A Woman Is No Man. I got this at Bookstop at Yaya. And I was just walking around trying to find other books, which I have there. And the person who was, like, directing me to, like, oh, this is where, like, Africana fiction is or, like, Western fiction is, pointed this out as a really good book and when i did a quick google like what what is the rating like a lot of the ratings were like 4.5 4.2 like it was pretty high up so picked it up for myself um and i'm gonna go in with my trusty like 25 bob sheets these brown little sheets and then my ribbon and tags from miniso and uh, oh yeah there's one more gift that i want to wrap for someone else on that side too so with that with that being said i'm going to sit down and um and get to wrapping maybe put you in a time lapse did i finish talking about this actually i don't know if i did but what i was trying to say is i am going to try and use it to try and organize my life a little bit better because i don't know how i don't know how i work i'm not sure how i function or how i remember what i'm doing on any given day because I, I don't write it down. I used to write it down. I used to have like a whole system. But now I don't. And I commit it to memory. And I'm usually like, Jesus, please don't tell me that I should be like in Karen at 4 p.m. And instead, I'm in, I'm in like Runda at that time, living my best life, having forgotten that I was supposed to be doing some work or meeting someone. Like I'm usually like, please, please, please. I hope I've remembered everything. And so far, it's been okay. Um, <clears throat> but... Actually, I do remember there's a time, like years ago, years, like literally four or five years ago, like two or three times I stood up someone and I genuinely, on all three occasions, forgot that I had set the date with them. And it was the same person, the same person. And they would call like, hey, it's 15 minutes past, I'm here. And I would be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And that's the only time it's ever happened. And they were livid. They were so, so upset. Um, and since then, I don't know if it's the season or I don't know why, I just always forgot with that particular person. <laughs> Didn't really end well. Um, but since then, like, since then and even before then, I've, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever said I'm going to be somewhere and I forget that I'm supposed to be somewhere. Have I? Maybe I have, but I can't remember. That's the only time I remember actively saying yeah, yeah yeah let's do it then thursday 2 p.m at this place got you yes i'm gonna be there and then completely forgetting yo i don't know what headspace i was as in then but um thankfully my uh memory hasn't filled me just yet but i do feel like i would be in a much better headspace like i would be lighter if i actually used this and 
it's quite like um I don't know if I'd have, like if I was choosing this, and also I should just ask them where they had this made, because I would love to have this in like a tan leather color. I would love a tan shade, but for 20, and it's also actually got my name, so this is definitely, it's not something I can like re-gift and be like, here you go, I hope it helps, serves you next year. It has my name, gonna keep it, gonna try and use it. Thank you to my people at Moran Capital. I'm going to link them below, just again, in case you are looking, are in the market for insurance and stuff. Wow, wow, I've just been talking. Um, ooh, I've got a new book to add to my little shelf. I do feel like I will have a dedicated like new book haul, so forget that I showed you guys. When I, when I do my little book haul next year, just be like, wow, you got that book? I didn't know you got that, interesting. Let me put it in a drawer and then I'll get to wrapping. <laughs> I've ran out of tape and I realized that this is the tape to use on this remember how I said last time that the regular cellar tape was just not working this for some reason works perfectly so I need to go get loads more of these but I've got my gifts oh well some of them wrapped um it makes me so happy I really like the simplicity of this and the little tags I just wish I had bought more of this from Miniso because I really like it. Anyway, I'm just gonna call the wrapping, I'm gonna call it a day when it comes to the wrapping because I just don't, I can't, I can't continue. Um, and this one I just used two different ones. It might look a little messy, I don't know, but it's gonna have to work. I am absolutely pooped. This whole time I thought it was like 10 minutes to nine. It's actually 10 minutes to 10. Ugh. Man, I was so excited because I thought I would have like, 30 45 minutes to read and I was going to like spread it across the three books I'm reading which currently it's This which is my favorite like that's the one I keep going back to and then Shantaram which is my second favorite, but a little slow to pick up although where we are now. I'm like oh, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do Lynn and then <sighs> Sapiens which is the longest I've ever taken to finish a book like we're well into a year of reading that book so i was going to dedicate a little bit of time to each one but with it being officially 10 p.m do i even want to do i even want to try that i'm not sure i'm not sure i will i think i still i think although if i'm being very honest i'm definitely going to read a little bit of this because it's just it's just that interesting plus i i want to make headway because i think we're going to have our live a little bit earlier than usual cause, usual because usually we'll have it the last saturday of the month but the last saturday of the month i believe is the first and i'm not holding a live on the first i just want to take that day easy so we might hold it a few days before anyway i'm just into this book and i want to read it so that's what i'm going to do i'm also just going to say good night i wasn't in the mood to even wash my face and i was just like meh i'm just gonna go to bed i didn't have any makeup on today anyway so it's okay, uh, a little sunscreen and like my morning products are not gonna hurt me. And then I remembered, like I was at the salon and with all the hair like just moving around and, and, and you know how braids like generally, braids have chemicals in them and I was like, wait, wait a second. Let me just do my skin a favor and wash my face. So if you're watching this and you're feeling a little bit lazy about washing your face or brushing your teeth or any one of your like bedtime activities, this is your little nudge to just power through and finish strong. Um, yeah, teeth are brushed, face is washed, book is in hand, and I'm gonna say goodnight and read for 10 minutes and then start all over again tomorrow at 6.45. Wait, what time am I waking up? I think I'm waking up at 
at 6 a.m. because I have to be at the gym quite early tomorrow. I'm going to say goodnight. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the morning.